So this is Artist James' very first quilt she bought. Yes. And I believe it was just at a local antique sale. She really didn't know much about antique quilts at the time. She was just really charmed by it and took this one home. And then about a year later, went back to the same sale and bought three oh, quilts. This and then was a year later, a went back and bought already? six quilts. She did make clothing and she worked in a clothing in a, in a um, shop and sold fabric. And, and so definitely was more of a clothing maker at the time, but we really very quickly became fascinated with quilts. A big one. I didn't realize it was so gigantic. <laughs> yeah. I don't I'll have gloves on, on gals. I'll get on the other. Rely on you. That was well used. This one has had some really good washing. Why don't you just leave that hole Yeah, it's larger than I thought. Yeah. So we definitely see a little bit of fading. Um, I'm some sorry. of the, probably the green, which is always notoriously fugitive, probably has really faded considerably. Um, some of this, uh, the, the turkey red fabrics oftentimes have issues with the way that they are um, created. So in the outer border or the binding, you actually see there's a lot of fabric loss here. That's uh, what we call an inherent vice, something in the manufacturing that just, the, the, the mordant that they use on the cotton literally eats the fabric away. So that's something very typical that we see from this time period. Another thing that's really typical that we see from this time period is a lot of this kind of uneven fading. I was thinking originally that was a patch that they'd added, but that's actually, that's so much higher, you know, it's raised, it's had a lot more abrasion, so it's actually a color change that's occurred in the fabric. Though, you know, at this point, fabric was so expensive, we do see a lot of piecing oftentimes, and little pieces that have been pieced together to create the overall design, though, I'm not really seeing teeny little slices in here. Uh, you know, at this time, of course, the hand quilting was just really elaborate, and then this beautiful stuffed work on top of that really adds a whole other dimension to it. And this is such a difficult pattern to create, anything with those points. I love this. I love this pattern, but you're never going to find me piecing one of these.